If we walked out of our house one morning and every green thing, our lawn, our trees had been turned white, we'd say, something's wrong, let's solve this. Unfortunately, Florida's coral reef is facing many, many threats. We have seen about a 97% loss of stony corals that build the reef in the past 40 years. We're really excited to have the Boy Scouts a part of this effort because we need all the help that we can get. This is a very ambitious effort. It's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of talent, and a lot of passion, and the Boy Scouts have all of that. We're about to go clean some coral trees in order to save some coral. Good. This is what most of our coral reefs are turning into. What you're seeing here is effectively a coral graveyard. Coral reefs have a lot of roles in the marine ecosystem. They provide food. They provide coastal protection. It is estimated that for every kilometer of coral, we have a million dollars in flood protection along the shoreline. Tourism. Here in the Keys, over half the jobs are in some way connected to our marine environment, brings in millions and millions of dollars into our economy. It is part of our culture, it's part of who we are. So these reefs are absolutely fundamental to life here in the Keys. Seabase is allowing us to come um, onto their property with their scouts, teach their scouts all about the work that we do, and then actually bring the scouts into the water with us where they're exploring our nurseries, cleaning our trees, and physically returning corals to the wild. Alrighty, so right now we're headed up through bow legs. We're gonna go out the bay side through Snake Creek, head up to the coral nursery for uh, some CRF dives. Gonna hopefully learn how to clean some coral today. As a part of our training, we, they had little plastic models of the trees that we would be cleaning underwater. And they, so with chisels, we would be cleaning the branches and the trunks of these PVC pipe trees. And then with little brushes, we'd be cleaning um, string that were attached to the coral that were hanging from the trees. And underwater, it was really cool because when you, you were scraping off all the algae, fish would just come by and like enjoy their free buffet. Our main efforts to restore coral reefs are focused in our coral nurseries. We have seven coral nurseries throughout the Florida Keys with over 740 coral trees, and we are able to produce 45,000 reef-ready corals in those nurseries. Once we have them down, a lot of those times those pulps will come back out. We're about to go out planting. We're going to take little baby corals and we're going to uh, plant them in the uh, back of the wild where they belong. gave us a, a nice little recipe, cookie, right? You need to get some nice three cookie spaced clearings for the three points of the coral to connect to the, uh, the reef. And then we had blueberry, where you had blueberry sized epoxy and you would stick the three points of the coral onto the epoxy so that it would stick and stay within the reef. And then you did a nice big wave test to make sure that it's nice and uh, secure. 
There's truly no word to describe what is going on down there. It's just amazing. Um, you really get a sense of like how much of an impact this is going to be like 20 years from now I can like take my kids back to the same spot and like point out that I helped with this like project everyone wants to do something with their lives and Even though I'm only 14. This is still pretty big for me. So I feel very proud. I Felt pretty good. I felt very good. Um, it's a lot better than sitting at home playing games on my computer thinking what am I going to do on my Saturday night instead I'm out here, you know, uh, planting coral. I keep joking to my friends that I'm saving the world, but you know, that's not entirely false.